Hello students, welcome to Tumba Online Classes. In this session, we shall start the next concept that is test for an index number. Test for an index number. Here, in index number, in weighted index number, there are six types are there, six weighted index numbers are there. One is last class index number. Past size index number, Marcel index Marcel Marcel Edward index number, Dorbeck index number, Fisher's index number, and Kelly's index number. Here we have to test last pair's index number satisfies the index, or Marcel index number satisfies or not. Dorbeck Kelly's index number satisfies or not with the help of test for an index number. Here there are totally four tests are there. One is unit test. One is unit test. Second one is time reversal test. Time reversal test. Third one is factor reversal test. Factor reversal test. And fourth one is circular test. Second one is time reversal test, third one is factor reversal test, and uh, fourth one is circular test. Now let us discuss unit test. That is UT unit test. Here this test, unit test, okay, this test requires that this test requires that the index number should be independent of the units. This test requires that the index number should be independent of the units. Here, units are independent. The index number should be independent of the units. In which prices and quantities of various commodities are quoted. In which the prices and quantities of various commodities are quoted. Here, this test requires that. The index number should be independent. The index number should be independent. Of, independent. Okay. Independent of the unit in which the prices and quantities of various commodities are to be quoted. Okay. Here, this test satisfies all the index number formulas. Unit test satisfies all the index number formulas except simple aggregate price index number. This test does not satisfy. This test does not satisfy. Simple aggregative simple aggregative index number. Index number. Here, this test satisfies all the index number formulas except the simple aggregative index number. Okay, we have one more question. Which index number does not satisfy unit test? Which index number does not satisfy unit test? Answer is simple aggregative index number. Okay, simple means unweighted aggregative index number. That is what. P not one equal to sum of P not by sorry sum of P one by P not into hundred. That is a simple aggregate index number, na? Okay, simple aggregate index number does not satisfy unit test. Okay, which index number does not satisfy unit test? That is simple aggregate index number. It is a one marks question, very very important. Okay, it is about the unit test. Okay, the next second one is time reversal test. Second one is time reversal test. Time reversal test. It is a very very important time reversal test and factor reversal test are very very important. Okay, ten marks over here. Ten marks question based on TIT and FRT. 
very very important okay here the time reversal test was proposed by professor irene fisher professor irene fisher the time reversal test was proposed by developed by professor irene fisher okay here yeah, what is a time reversal test what is the time reversal test it is the product of 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 given price index number given price index number is the product of given price index number i and new price index number new price index number obtained by obtained by interchanging interchanging base year to current year base year to current year that is 0 to 1 it is having base year to current year and current year to and current year to base year should be should be equal to that is current year to base year means 1 tends to 0 put the current year to base year should be equal to should be equal to should be equal to unity or 1 or unity means 1 here, what is the time reversal test? It is the product of given price index number. It is the product of given price index number and new price index number obtained by interchanging base year to current year. Means 0 to 1. Interchange 0 to 1 and current year to base year. That is 1 to 0. Should be equal to 1. Unity means 1. Okay. Here, the condition is, TRT condition is, time reversal is written by TRT. TRT condition is, TRT condition is TRT condition is P not one into P one not equal to one. TRT condition is what? P not one into P one not equal to one. Okay, here what is the index of the time reversal test? It is the product of it is the product of given price index number. Okay, P not one is a given price index number and New price index number here P one not is a new price index number P not one is a given price index number and P one not is a new price index number or obtained by or obtained by interchanging interchanging base year to current year zero to one or obtained by base year to current year zero to one okay and current year to base year one to zero and current year to base year should be equal to unity should be equal to one. Okay, it is a TRT condition that is P01 into P01 equal to 1. Okay, here, here P01 and P10 are mere ratios, mere ratios, and they should not be. And they should not be expressed as and they should not be expressed as percentage. And they should not be expressed as percentage. Here P01 and P01 are the mere ratio. Here the term mere means mere means kvala only. 
ओके वन इयर वाला रेशियो अस्ते आ जाओ ओके ओके अनुपात बोलो हियर 301 नंबर नियर मींस के वाला ओनली मियर रेशियोस एंड दे शुड नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एज परसेंटेज एंड दे शुड नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एज परसेंटेज सपोज इफ यू आर यूजिंग क्लास प्राइस प्राइस इंडेक्स आर मार्क मींस यू हैव टू यूज ओनली फॉर्मलाइज्ड सम ऑफ p1 q0 by सम ऑफ p0 q0 only this much not into 100 while calculating time reversal test we have to take only sum of p1 q0 by sum of p0 q0 here 100 is not included in time reversal test here p0 and q0 are near ratios and they should not be expressed as percentages okay here p0 what is the p0 p0 is the price index number Price index number P is the price index number. Price index number for the current year one for current year for current year one with respective with respective base year with respective base year zero. With respect to base year zero, here P not one is the price index number for current year one. Current year one with respect to base year zero. Okay, the next P one not. What is the P one not? Price index number. Price index number for current year for current year zero for current year zero and. With respect to and with base and with base one and with the base one here the price index number for current year zero with respect to base is one reverse here time reversal test is what interchanging the current year to base year and base year to current year it is a time reversal test okay here this test satisfies. This test satisfies. First word does not satisfies. This this test does not satisfies last pass passes Dorbish price index number. This test does not satisfies last pass passes and Dorbish price index number. Okay, this test satisfies. This test. Satisfies this test satisfies Marcel Edward Marcel Edward Fisher's and Kelly's price index number. P I. This test satisfies. Marcel Dow index number, Fisher index number, and Kelly square index number. This just does not satisfy last pass, passes, last pass, passes, and Dorbish price index number. Just got it. Okay. Here, show that the last pass index number does not satisfy. Show that the last pass index number does not satisfy. Time reversal test. Show that the mass index index number satisfies time reversal test. Okay, clear. One relation. Show that, for example, show that, show that last pass. Last pass price index number does not satisfies does not satisfies T R T does not satisfies T R T. Show that last pass index number does not satisfies T R T. Okay, clear. Proof. Proof. 
P not one L is P not one is plus the P not one is sum of P one Q not by sum of P not Q not plus plus by the sum of that is P not one equal to sum of P one Q not by sum of P one Q not and P one not P one Q not also it is the given by the next one and new by the next one is P one not here we have to interchange the base here to current here and current here to base here. Here P not Q one is there. Let's take P not P not equal Q one equal to divided by sum of P not is there. Let's take P one Q not is there. Let's take Q. Okay. Here we have to interchange current here to base here, base here to current. According to T R D. According to T R D, P not one into P one not equal to one. See here, P not one is what sum of P one Q not by sum of P not Q not into P one not is sum of P one not Q one divided by sum of P one Q one. Okay, P one Q not and P one Q one not answer. P not Q not and P not Q one not answer. It is not equal to one. Now cancel again, dear. It is not equal to one. Therefore, hence, hence last price, last price price index number does not satisfy. Does not satisfy. T R P. Hence. The last class for index number does not satisfy T R P. It is a true. Okay. Next one more. Show that master year dot index number satisfies T R P. One more group. Show that. So that Marshall is our, that means Marshall is our index number satisfies satisfies T R. So that Marshall is our index number satisfies T R T. Proof. Here P not one is Marshall is our three. P not one is Let me sum of P one Q not plus sum of P one Q one by sum of P not Q one Q not plus sum of P not Q one and P one not P not Q not one. Yeah, me. Okay. Here we have to interchange base here to current here and current here to base here. That is P one. That is P not Q one. P not Q not is there. Let's take Q one plus P not is there. Let's take P not Q one. Let's take P not Q not. Sum of P not is there. Let's take P one Q one plus P not is there. Let's take P one Q one is there. Let's take Q not. According to according to T R T according to T R T according to T R T. P not one into P one not equal to one. Let's substitute sum of P one Q not plus sum of P one Q one divided by sum of P not Q not plus sum of P not Q one into sum of P not Q one plus sum of P not Q not. Divided by sum of p1 q1 plus sum of p1 q0. It is here sum of p1 q0 plus sum of p1 q1. Here it is p1 p1 q1. Okay, here p1 q0 p0 q1 p0 q0. Here p1 q1 p1 q0. Correct. Okay, here P one Q one 
at P1 Q1. See here. Sum of P1 Q0 and plus sum of P1 Q1 cancel. And sum of P0 Q0 plus sum of P0 Q1 cancel. Then it is equal to 1. Hence, the Marshall at the next number satisfies TR. Hence, the Marshall index the next number satisfies TRP. Okay. Next one more. Show that Kelly's present next number satisfies TRP. Show that Kelly's present next number satisfies TRP. Okay. Here, P not one K Kelly that is equal to sum of P one Q by sum of P not Q. Okay. Next. P1 not K interchange sum of P not Q by sum of P1 Q. According to TRP, according to TRP, P not 1 into P1 not equal to 1. That is sum of P1 Q by sum of P not Q into sum of P not Q by sum of P1 Q. P1 Q, P1 Q cancel, P0 Q, P0 Q cancel, it is equal to 1. Then Kelly's present index number satisfies the time reversal test. Okay, one more question. Does, does Marshall Adult index number satisfies TRT? One more question. Does Marshall index number satisfies TRT? Yes. Does Dorvish Borage index number satisfies TRT? No. Answer is no. Okay, the next concept factor reversal test. Next word, test is what? Factor reversal test. Factor reversal test. Here, what is a factor reversal test? Okay, so here. P01, your factor reversal test condition is what? P01 into Q01 equal to P01. Factor reversal test condition is what? P01 into Q01 equal to P01. Okay, here what is the factor reversal test? It is the product of, it is the product of price index number. P01 means what? Price index number and Q01 is the Q01 is what? Quantity index number and V01 is value index number. Okay, then what is the factor reversal test? It is the product of price index number and quantity index number should be equal to value index number. That is the product of price index number and quantity index number should be equal to value index number. Where, where P01 is sum of P1 Q0 by sum of P0 Q0 and Q0 1 is what? Q0 1 is sum of first your present quantity is Q1 P0 by sum of Q0 P0 and P0 1 is what? That is sum of P1 sum of P1 into Q1 by sum of P0 into Q0 okay it is equal to sum of P1 into sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0. Here the answer should be sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q1. Okay, here what is the factor reversal test? Here it is the product of price index number and quantity index number should be equal to value index number. Where P0 1 is sum of P1 Q0 by sum of P0 Q0, Q0 1 is sum of P1 Q0 by sum of P0 Q0 and Q0 is sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0. Okay, here P01 and Q01 are the near ratios. Here P01 and Q01 are the near ratios. Only ratios they should not be expressed as percentage. Even percentage is only this much, not into 100 per Okay, they should not be expressed as percentages. Okay, here P01 is the price index number for the current year one with respect to base 0 and P01 is quantity index number with respect to quantity index number for current year 1 with respect to base year is 0. Okay, this test does not satisfy last price price index number, passage price index number, Marshall price index number, 
Dormish Bollage Bar Index Number and Kelly's Prime Index Number. This test does not satisfy does not satisfy the last class, passes, Marshall, Dorbish and Kelly's Prize Index Number. This test satisfies only Fisher's Prize Index Number. This test satisfies Fisher's Fisher's Prize Index Number. This test satisfies only Fisher's index number. Therefore, the Fisher's index numbers are called as ideal index number. Why Fisher's index numbers are called as ideal index number? We have already learned. That is, the Fisher's index number is a geometric mean which is considered as the best evidence for averaging ratios. Second one, it satisfies both the TIT and FRT. Only Fisher's index number satisfies the TIT and FRT. Okay, not all. Only Fisher's index number satisfies both the TIT and FRT. Okay, it takes into account base year and current year quantities as a weights. It takes into account base year and current year quantities are taken as the weights. And lastly, it is a free from bias. It is a free from bias. Okay, this test satisfies Fisher's index number. Index number. Okay, which index number satisfies factor reversal test? It is one more question. Which index number satisfies Fisher's index number? Sorry, factor reversal test. That is answer is Fisher's price index number. Which index number satisfies both TIT and FRT? Which index number satisfies both TIT and FRT? Answer is Fisher's index number. Okay, one proof. Show that the Fisher's index number satisfies FRT. Show that the Fisher's index number satisfies. Show that Fisher's index number. Fisher's index number satisfies. Fisher's index number that is sum of under root of under root of P1 Q0 by sum of P0 Q0 into sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q1 not into 100 and and Q0 1 F is Fisher is under root of Q1 P0 by by sum of Q0 P0 into sum of Q1 P1 by sum of Q0 P1 into not into okay according to the FRT according to FRT P0 1 into Q0 1 equal to sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0 such the values P0 is what? Under root of sum of P1 Q0 by sum of P0 Q0 into sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q1 into under root of sum of Q1 P0 by sum of Q0 P0 into sum of Q1 P1 by sum of Q0 P0. Here sum of P1 Q0, sum of P1 Q1 cancel, sum of P0 Q1, sum of P0 Q1 cancel, here P0 Q0, P0 Q1 cancel, see here, that is equal to under root of sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0, sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0, sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0, it goes to, yes, it is equal to, it is equal to what, sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0 that is P0 1 into Q0 1 equal to sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0 hence the Fisher's index number satisfies hence the Fisher's index number satisfies factor reversal test hence the Fisher's index number satisfies factor reversal test okay we will get sum of P1 Q1 by sum of P0 Q0 it is nothing but what? value index 
Okay, next one more. Show that the last pair's index number does not satisfy. Show that the last pair's index number does not satisfy. Or passes take passes. Show that the passes index number. Index number does not satisfy. Does not satisfy. Yeah, part B. Yeah, part B. Does not satisfy. Yeah, part. B. Okay, here so show that the passes index number does not satisfy. Yeah, part. B. Now is P not one case. The sum of P one Q not. By sum of sorry, p1 q1 by sum of p0 q1 and q0 one is okay. Passes to one index number is sum of q1 p1 by sum of q0 q1. According to according to your party factor of the test. P not one into Q not one equal to sum of P one Q one by sum of P not Q one. So to the value is P not one is sum of P one Q one by sum of P not Q one into sum of Q one P one by sum of Q one Q not Q one. So cancel again now, and therefore it is not equal to sum of p one q one by sum of p not q one. Sum of p not q one. Sum of p not q one. Here p not q one. P not q one. Q one q one. So okay, now cancel again now. Here hence the last part index number. Sorry, last part index number does not satisfy the yeah part. Okay, in the next class we shall continue the remaining test that is. Uh, Uh, circular test and the problems based on test for an index number okay thank you